What's up guys, this is Ronnie. Welcome back to our channel Total Technology Zone and today's topic will be how to get a transcript from a YouTube video using LangChain. Okay, so from the name itself it is clear that we'll be going to do something with YouTube video and we'll be definitely going to use LangChain. So without wasting um, further uh, time, let's actually uh, or let me explain you the um, exact um, like goal of this video so uh, definitely we'll be not going to uh, um, cover or explore the entire use case uh, but as i told you initial uh, videos are going to be very simple so let me tell you what exactly we are planning to do so uh, we are actually uh, planning to uh, develop and question answering bot or a knowledge graph from a youtube video uh, and definitely we'll be going to use some language model and of course we'll be going to use um, LangChain. But uh, if we combine all these things together, maybe it will be a very complicated and um, a messy topic for a beginner, right? So that is why what I do, I will first uh, try to uh, target the small or very fundamental areas of LangChain and after that we'll be actually going to extend our knowledge to reach that um, uh, expertise, expertise level, okay? So first, I will show you guys how to get the transcript from a YouTube video and in the later on maybe in the upcoming videos or in the future videos we'll be going to use that transcript to create a knowledge graph or maybe we'll be going to develop some sort of AI driven question answering bot or maybe we'll be going to do some sort of analysis or maybe we'll do some vector search embeddings lots of things right NLP related projects but those things will become uh, after some time at this moment just because we are starting our lang chain I'll try to actually um, give you guys some sort of intuition and uh, get a concept like what are the things are uh, evolving around this long chain like uh, lang chain module right so let's start the tutorial okay so there is not much in that uh, slide so what I'll do I'll just go ahead with the VS code right so maybe I'll create a file let's say okay so there are two things we'll be going to cover first we'll be going to cover using a single video how to get a transcript from a single video and another tutorial in the same same video in I mean today's topic we'll be going to cover how to create transcripts from multiple videos okay of course we'll be going to use the YouTube URL at the driving factor but we'll see it so let me give a name single yeah single underscore URL dot py okay so like this okay so now let's uh, let's make it a little bit bigger okay it's bigger now okay okay now it looks nice so first thing from lang chain then uh, document loaders will be going to import YouTube module uh, okay you tube okay so we'll be going to let's execute this thing let's see whether we are getting any error or not so we're not getting any error. it means everything is working fine right so basically this is a module and this is a sub module okay so now from the sub module if you see here this is a sub module and this is also a module but this is actually a sub module okay so now we'll, what we'll do we'll be going to create a variable called loader and it should be YouTube and it should be YouTube dot YouTube loader so basically this is a class now okay and inside the class definitely there will be a method so from YouTube URL and there will be going to pass the URL right and after that what will happen we'll be going to uh, create a another variable docs uh, docs equals to maybe loader dot load okay and what we'll do we'll just going to print so basically uh, the from the YouTube URL we'll be going to get the transcript but the transcript uh, type will be langchain doc document okay so docs now let's go ahead in the browser and try to get an URL okay so this is my YouTube channel so maybe let's copy this URL copy link address okay guys so this is my YouTube channel if somebody is watching this channel for the first time 
प्लीज 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 ट्राई टू सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड हिट द लाइक बटन ऑन एनी वीडियोज इफ यू लाइक इट एंड ट्राई टू शेयर अवर वीडियोज विद योर फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड एंड ऑल्सो डोंट 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 मिस टू हिट द बेल आईकॉन सो दैट यू शुड नॉट मिस एनी नोटिफिकेशन इन द फ्यूचर ओके इट्स अ हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट ओके सो बेस्ट इट एन एग्जीक्यूट सो बेसिकली इट इज सेंग समथिंग इज मिसिंग प्लीज इंस्टॉल okay so it is it is saying some helper module is required so let's copy this thing pip install this thing okay okay let's execute okay install it let's clear everything here okay let's execute again yeah boom so if you see i got a transcript of the video in your language maybe it's a subtitle okay but it's not a subtitle it's the voice to text conversion okay so as i told you this is a list okay inside the list what is the content so maybe docs is a list so maybe i can simply write now for doc just because i have only one url so it's it is definitely going to be a single doc for doc in docs and print doc right so let's let's clear everything and try to execute again okay so basically now let's see what is the type of this doc so definitely it will be a langchain document okay typ so guys actually i'm using a new keyboard so that that is why lots of typos and spelling mistakes are happening in the keyboard so sorry for that okay so if you see it's a langchain schema document so how to get the text or string version of this thing so basically it has a attribute called page content uh, yes so basically this is going to give you that string okay now this is a simple string right so now you can write this thing into a file so what will happen we'll be going to actually write import io and then what will happen we'll do with io dot open and we'll be just going to write okay tr in script dot txt as if one okay and then if one dot right okay and then what will happen we'll just going to write is very simple if one dot close right okay so let's clear and let's execute we'll see here is a file with the transcript dot txt okay so let's do okay it's done and it's there okay right all done now what we'll do as promised i'll be going to do the same thing for multiple urls okay so first let me copy this thing because i'll be going to just copy the code and a little bit i'll be going to change okay so it should be multiple dot url multiple underscore url dot py right so let's copy this thing but here i'll be not going to use any a uh, static thing here so let me copy this thing first and i'll be going to create something called urls a list and inside that i'll be going to place all the urls so let's go back to my channel i'll be going to copy this tutorial copy link address so maybe simply i write this another tutorial i'll be going to get 
okay so maybe okay right and then what will happen we'll be going to do for url in urls like this then what will happen we'll just fix the indentation with a tab and then this then this and this will be here of course right and here uh, it will be url right now we need to change the name the name cannot be like this right so what will happen actually so so if you see the name this is the actually the video id right so i'll be just going to get this thing for creating a name so basically what will happen so name will be name will be will be going to substring uh, sorry split split using this thing and then dot uh, sorry dot one because if i split this thing this part will be zero element of the list and this will be the first element oh, sorry zero eighth element means first element index one is actually going to be second element so i'll be going to use the index one and after that i'll just write name and string concatenation that's it okay hopefully this is done this will create three files okay let's execute so first file created right second file created and third file created so let's open everything is here everything is here and everything is here okay that's it i believe this is very simple tutorial so what i'll do i'll just copy this thing and put it into the uh, slide so that you guys can take a reference but don't worry about this thing i will of course going to uh, create uh, sorry not create it's already created i'll be just going to upload this thing into the github repo and i'll be going to share the github repo link from the video description or the tutorial description okay so that's it guys uh, now uh, i'll be going to conclude this video but before i conclude this tutorial i just want to uh, ask you guys a couple of favor so it's an humble request guys please try to subscribe to our channel we would like to reach bigger audience so that our channel will get uh, at the highest ranking uh, for the youtube algorithm to promote automatically because ultimately these things are going to give us some sort of motiva motivation and this is the kind of um, um, like kind of inspiration for us to do more and more video on daily basis right and next thing is actually try to share our videos with your family and friends so that indirectly and directly we'll get another like kind of viewers from that channel as well okay and last and most important thing guys when you are watching some video try to actually put some comment good or bad doesn't matter it has to be honest so that we'll understand what is actually not uh, correct in this video or what could be done in a better way so that we'll come up with the highest quality or the better quality in the next video right and very important thing don't just watch my videos blindly try to watch the videos first maybe one time or two time three time whatever then try to actually write your own code by your own uh, uh, within your uh, laptop or computer whatever you are using until uh, unless you are not writing the code you will not get the confidence and from the confidence only you will be able to think out of the box like see i'm just creating a small tutorial but the world is not actually going to evolve around this small thing you have to do a lot of things in the industry so how you are going to get towards that channel or that part when you start writing the code you will start thinking and thinking is actually going to help you to go to the next level okay so that is why coding is important okay so that's it guys that's it for today we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and happy learning